We'll meet tonight's mystery guest, and second mystery guest, in just a moment. But first, here is a word from our sponsor. Now, uh, it's time for the usual special feature at this point of our show, but tonight it's our second mystery guest, not our first, for which, of course, as always, the panel has to be blindfolded. The blindfolds are in the process of being put on. Uh, everybody all set now? Blindfolds all in place? Back on. All righty, will you enter mystery challenger and sign in, please? panel once again, uh, one question at a time, in turn moving clockwise, and let's begin with um, Bennett Cerf. Uh, would any members of this panel be apt to know you personally? Yes. Miss Kilgallen? Are you a curvaceous girl singer? <laughs> yes. <laughs> It took you a long time to get curved, John. That would be yes. <laughs> Mr. Griffin? Are you appearing in New York? Yes. And Miss Francis? Were you one of the performers last night at the President Kennedy rally in Madison Square Garden? Almost. <laughs> what did you say? Almost. Almost. Mr. Sir? I don't know what that means. Thank you. I, that... do. I do. I do. Well, if they, so if they know, does that, does that mean that some close member of your family was on the show? <laughs> no. What? How did I go, Miss Kilgallen? Does it mean that you were performing in a show on Broadway and couldn't get there? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Are you Diane Carroll? Yes. yes. <laughs> I was so sure you were going to think I was Tallulah. I was so hard. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes. Well, Tony. you're not Tallulah, but you're one of the most talented young women in the American theater today. Thank you very much, Arlene. That's nice to hear. I must tell you that I, I am suffering from kind of a slight case of laryngitis, and that helped me to decide on that voice. And I don't understand how you guessed it so quickly. <laughs> Not at all. Miss Carroll, I, I think we should say that in no strings, you are, I think, one of the main reasons why that show will probably run about five years in New York. Thank you very much, Ben. Well, and I, yes, because we all saw, at least we all here in New York, so you get your Tony Award. Yes, and, uh, which is very exciting for me. We were very proud and of you. And for Mr. Rogers. Ah, Dick Rogers. This it must be a great joy to work I with. I must say, he was looking at me exactly like a proud papa that night. Ah, wonderful. Oh, he was very happy, too. Well, I'm sorry that uh, we didn't, with laryngitis and Tallulah and everything, give them more trouble. But I'll think of something the next time. The reason you said almost was that you were supposed to appear last night. I was there. I, I was there. You were there. there. And ready, just as the president began his speech, I arrived. Which, of oh. course, the president's speech was the final thing in the program. Yeah, you shouldn't follow him. You would not. <laughs> <laughs> no, I wouldn't follow him. Not Especially not looking like that, I wouldn't follow him. <laughs> well, thanks very much for staying, coming to visit us. And, and lots of more success. Thank you. Very much. Nice to have you. 